Okay, hi. The next video you're going to watch is 27 and a half minutes long. A lot of you said, can you give us longer videos? Well, I am. It's on the blood moon over Jerusalem. It's an entire Bible study. You'll be reading from scriptures from Isaiah, scriptures from Joel, scriptures from Matthew, Mark, Luke, and finally the Apostle Peter in the book of Acts. These are scriptures pertaining directly for the hour we're living in. It's amazing how they come to life, how these prophets of old and Jesus Christ himself, recorded by his own disciples, and even the Apostle Peter, as they stood and told us, the coming of the Lord is near. Folks, I'm telling you, we are on the brink. We're on the brink of the beast. We, the microchip is ready. They can implant it any time. And in the Obamacare health bill that was passed, it is required that it is implemented in every U.S. citizen within 36 months of passing. Well, I even talked to a guy at Newsnet, uh, Net, Newsnetwork.net. Uh, this guy's name is uh, Ken Wheeler. And he's the anchor there, and he called me. We had a great conversation. But trust me, the new world order is just about ready to start. The nations have risen against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. We're nearing the second coming of the Lord. We're nearing the times of tribulation. But this blood moon that's going to happen on June 15, 2011, for 100 minutes, a lunar eclipse turning the moon blood over Jerusalem will not happen again over Jerusalem for seven more years, not till July 27th, 2018. There will be two more blood moons and a lunar eclipses that will happen on the planet, but they will not be in the vicinity of Jerusalem. There will be signs in the stars, the comet, the comet, Elenin's on its way. There will be signs in the earth and the stars. The sun just had solar flares two days ago, earthquakes, famines, we're having it, distress of nations. Folks, we are living in a time. How close are we? Quit doubting and start shouting and don't have fear. It's Jesus said people are going to have heart attacks over this. Stress because they're not saved. If you're not saved living in the time we're living in, you've got to be out of your mind. You've got to quit pouting. You've got to quit doubting. And folks, it's time to start shouting. If you're saved, look up. For your redemption draweth nigh. Lift up your heads, Jesus said. He's coming back. Will you be ready to go with him? I'm Paul Begley. Oh, I know. I know. The Yemen's president's got something on his throat. We can't hear from him. Is he dead or alive? Gaddafi's playing chess down in the bunker. Deep, 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 deep. But what? Is this guy ever going to wake up? Now he says, oh, I'm ready to talk to NATO. His country's overtaken. Dude, it's over. You're going down. The Bible said it in Daniel chapter 11, 41 through 45. You see, the scriptures are coming to pass. Locusts are going all over the world. Australia and Russia, the Canary Islands, Ethiopia. Africa, the United Arab Emirates, there's locusts, 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 locusts. I know there was one preacher that said, well, it's been happening for quite a while. Folks, there's been locusts since the plagues of Egypt, but we've never had this many locusts, records amounts in places all over the globe that's affecting the food shortage and population and the people as we've got right now. I'm Paul Begley. Stay tuned. The next video is going to change your life. I want you to connect it to Facebook. I want you to share it with your friends. It's coming up. It's 27 minutes long. So get your Bible, get a notepad, a pen, and a cup of coffee. It's going to be a powerful day of prophecy. This is a significant day. This is a significant hour for the world.